Styrix is a genus of about 130 species of large shrubs or small trees in the family Styricaceae, mostly native to warm temperate to tropical regions of the northern hemisphere, with the majority in eastern and southeastern Asia, but also crossing the equator in South America. Common names include snowbell, styrisx, and the more ambiguous storax and benzoin. The genus Pamphylia, sometimes regarded as distinct, is now included within styrix based on analysis of morphological and DNA sequence data. The spice bush is a different plant. In the family Lauraceae, styrix trees grow to 2 to 14 meters tall and have alternate, deciduous or evergreen simple ovate leaves 1 to 18 cm long and 2 to 10 cm broad. The flowers are pendulous with a white 5 to 10 lobed corolla produced 3 to 30 together on open or dense panicles 5 to 25 cm long. The fruit is an oblong dry droop, smooth and lacking ribs and narrow wings. Unlike the fruit of the related snowdrop trees and epaulette trees, uses Uses of resin, benzo and resin, a dried exudation from pierced bark, is currently produced from various styrix species native to Sumatra, Java, and Thailand. Commonly traded of the resins of S. tonkinensis, S. benzoin, and S. benzoides. The name benzoin is probably derived from Arabic Lubanjawi. Compare the obsolete terms gum benjamin and benjoin. This incidentally shows that the Arabs were aware of the origin of these resins, and that by the late Middle Ages her latest international trade in them was probably of major importance. The chemical benzoin, despite the apparent similarity of the name, is not contained in benzoin resin in measurable quantities. However, benzoin resin does contain small amounts of the hydrocarbon styrene, named however for Levant styrene from which it was first isolated, and not for the genus Styrix itself. Industrially produced styrene is now used to produce polystyrene plastics, including styrofoam tum. History of sources Since antiquity, Styrix resin has been used in perfumes, certain types of incense, and medicines. There is some degree of uncertainty as to exactly what resin old sources refer to. Turkish sweet gum is a quite unrelated tree in the family Altingiaceae that produces a similar resin traded in modern times as Storax or as Levant. Styrix, like the resins of other sweet gums, and a number of confusing variations thereupon. Turkish sweet gum is a relic species that occurs only in a small area in SW Turkey, presumably. Quite some of the Styrix resin of the ancient Greek and the ancient Roman sources was from this sweet gum, rather than a Styrix. Although at least during the former era genuine Styrix resin, probably from S. Aphesianalis, was imported in quantity from the Near East by Phoenician merchants, and Herodotus of Halicarnassus in the 5th century BC indicates that different kinds of Storax were traded. The NATAF of the incense sacred to Yahweh, mentioned in the book of Exodus, is loosely translated by the Greek term stacte, or an unspecific gum resin, or similar term. NATAF may have meant the resin of Styrix officinalis or of some other plant, perhaps Turkish sweet gum, which is unlikely to have been imported in quantity into the Near East. Since the Middle Ages, Southeast Asian benzo and resins became increasingly available. Today there is little international trade in S. Aphesianalis resin and little production of Turkish sweet gum resin due to that species' decline in numbers. Use as incense. Styrix incense is used in the Middle East and adjacent regions as an air freshener. 
This was adopted in the European Papier d'Armeni, the highly toxic benzene and formaldehyde are produced when burning Styrix incense. The amounts produced by burning a strip of Papier d'Armeni every two to three days are less than those achieved by many synthetic air fresheners. Styrix resin from southern Arabian species was burned during frankincense harvesting, it was said to drive away snakes. Gather frankincense by burning that storax which Phoenicians carry to Hellas. They burn this and so get the frankincense. For the spice bearing, trees are guarded by small, winged snakes of varied color, many around each tree. These are the snakes that attack Egypt. Nothing except the smoke of storax will drive them away from the trees. Medical uses. There has been little dedicated research into the medical properties of Styrix resin, but it has been used for long, and apparently with favorable results. It was important in Islamic medicine. Avicenna discusses esophacy analysis in his Al Kanan Fi Al Tib. He indicates that Styrix resin mixed with other antibiotic substances and hardening material gives a good dental restorative material. Benzoin resin is a component of the Theriaca andramachi senioris, a venestrical recipe in the 1686 Damstadam Arapothi. Tincture of benzoin is benzoin resin dissolved in alcohol. This and its numerous derived versions like Le Virginal and Fras Balsam were highly esteemed in 19th century European cosmetics and other household purposes. They apparently had antibacterial properties. Today tincture of benzoin is most often used in first aid for small injuries, as it acts as a disinfectant and local anesthetic in seems to promote healing. Benzoin resin and its derivatives are also used as additives in cigarettes. The antibiotic activity of benzoin resin seems mostly due to its abundant benzoic acid and benzoic acid esters, which were named after the resin. Other less well-known secondary compounds such as lignins like pin or cyanol are likely significant too. Horticultural uses several species of styrix are popular ornamental trees in parks and gardens, especially S. japonicus and its cultivars like emerald pagoda and styrix obosia. Uses of wood The wood of larger species is suitable for fine handicrafts. That of egonoki is used to build koku, the Japanese bird instrument. Ecology in conservation. The resin of Styrix acts to kill wound pathogens and deter herbivores. Consequently, for example, few Lepidoptera caterpillars eat Styrix compared to other plants. Those of the two barred flasher were recorded on S. Argentius, but they do not seem to use it on a regular basis. Some Styrix species have declined in numbers due to unsustainable logging and habitat degradation. While most of these are classified as vulnerable by the IUCN, only four trees of the nearly extinct Palo de Jasmine are known to survive at a single location. Although legally protected, this species could be wiped out by a single hurricane. Selected species, 